was the first green general audience in the Vatican. Solar panels that were installed on the roof of the Paula VI Auditorium are now generating the building's electric needs. 2,400 photovoltaic panels have been installed. The plant will generate 300 megawatts of clean electricity per year. This will save approximately 80 tons of oil by reducing the equivalent of 225,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions from the Vatican. The plan to convert the Vatican to renewable energy sources was originally by a young German physicist after a very special meeting. Some six years ago, I got an audience with the Pope Johannes Paul II, and uh, I told him when I showed him a solar cell, my first self-produced solar cell, I said, Father, we can do with a little bit of sand or silicon and the sun, we can produce electricity. And he simply said, yes, my son, God can do everything. And that was a very good inspiration for me to, to work further on and to build up a big factory to produce these solar cells. In six years, he built a company where 2,500 employees work today, and he could donate to the Vatican this installation at the cost of one and a half million euros. With this initiative, the Vatican would like to send a message not only to the church but to the whole world that with creation we've received a natural heritage. We have to keep it, we must respect it, and we should profit by it as much as possible. Ten years ago, nobody was talking about renewable energy, whereas today everybody talks about it, and tomorrow probably even more will. We're going from talking now to doing. The fact that the Vatican had the ability to respond directly, transparently, and with readiness is an extremely positive sign. It's something that should be taken up as an example and to be reflected upon. This is only the beginning of the Vatican's Green Revolution. By the year 2020, the Holy See hopes solar power will provide one-fifth of its energy needs. If successful, it will be the first European country to achieve this goal.